Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Well, the clue is on the box. <laughs> what we've got for you is, as it says, the Blackbird pen. Comes with the original box, made by the Swan Pen People. Maybe Todd and Company Limited use Swan Ink. I don't think. Oh, and made in England. So what we've got for you is a swamp pen in the original box, which is nice to find. So let's take the pen out first of all. What we've also got inside, which is a little bit difficult to get out, is the original instructions, which once again is quite nice to find. So let's have a look at the instructions there, directions, for using the blackbird pen lever filling and then it tells you how to fill the pen etc if we turn it over it tells you about actually using swan, swan ink um, tells you about the different colours of inks you can get also in red, blue, green, violet, yellow, orange, brown and magenta Maybe Todd and Company Limited, 41 Park Street, Mayfield, London. Um, it gives you all the branches. Um, London, um, Brussels, Zurich. Um, what else can I see? Belgium, etc, etc. Resident agents, New Zealand, India, South Africa, etc. And then very to the very bottom, quite interesting, factories. Let's bring it a little bit closer for you. London, Liverpool, Birmingham and Lichfield. So, a nice little bit of social history. As I said, the pen comes with the original instructions. So, let's take the box and pop that to one side. Let's have a look at the pen. Here we have it. An absolutely gorgeous Blackbird fountain pen. Now, it comes in this beautiful sort of green, I'd say green and grey marbling colour. Let's bring it nice and close for you so you can have a look. Um, when it came to me, it was a little bit of a sorry state. There was some pitting on the lever um, and on the clip, etc. We've polished that out. We've given it, well, we've totally disassembled it, cleaned everything, new sack giving it a polish etc so fully fully restored the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel 123 millimeters capped um, around the barrel it's approximately 11 millimeters in diameter so it's not a large pen it's not a small pen it's I would say a quite a medium sized pen now as you've already seen it comes with nickel plated trim so we've got this nickel um, lever to the pen there and you'll notice this is actually the bandless model so to the bottom of the cap there you can see there's no bands as such but if we take you to the top there you can see the very recognizable ball clip once again it's this nickel plated clip and then to the very top there, you can see this sort of logo of a blackbird. To the top, a nice black sort of slightly coned, well not a cone, sort of domed end to the, to the top there, which matches the, the end of the barrel there. An absolutely gorgeous pen. Now, the blackbird pens obviously were made, as you saw earlier, by maybe Todd and Company Limited. Now maybe Todd and Company Limited they made basically three tiers if you like of fountain pens. The top of the range were the swan pens, the middle of the range were these blackbird pens and then the slightly lower range or the school pens were what they termed as the swallow range now although this one being the blackbird and are supposed to be a sort of slightly lower in the range of pens do not be fooled this pen 
is absolutely beautiful. The quality, the condition, the the make, the material is as good as any pen you would have found in that particular period. And the period being, well, I'm dating this pen around about the 1940s, but superb pens, quality made pens in this gorgeous marbling sort of a green and grey marbling colour. Now let's show you the barrel imprint. Now what I've actually done because of the colour of the the marbling I've actually highlighted for you. Now again you'll notice to the left it's got this this blackbird and then it has blackbird cell filler I think it says can't see it. yeah cell filler maybe Todd and Company made in England so as you can see a lovely clear imprint that we've highlighted for you now the model of this pen is the 5245 now as with a lot of the maybe Todd pens you'll you'll know that the model number is generally to the bottom of the the barrel and there you can see the model number being 5245 again nice and clear Last but not least, to the top of the cap there, you'll see it says Blackbird. Again, we've highlighted that for you, so it's nice and clear. So, all in all, a beautiful, beautiful pen. As I say, fully restored, and hopefully in a moment we'll see in full working order. Now, if we undo the cap, which is a screw-on, screw-off cap, let's show you the pen in different angles as I say it's not a large pen by no means is it a small pen it is a nice and comfortable pen to hold I have quite large hands and for me it's very comfortable and a nice size of pen so once again a quick twirl of the pen and the different angles let's put the cap to one side and let's take you up to this section. You can see a very recognisable section there, tapers slightly towards the nib. And if I twirl it round for you, I don't know if it's clear to you, but you can see to the bottom of the section there, it also has the word blackbird. Let's show you the, the nib. Let's bring it a little bit close for you. Okay, so what you've got there is the correct nib for the pen. We've got a Blackbird 14 carats, maybe Todd and Company, made in England, nib. To the very bottom of the nib, now inside the section, it actually has the letter A. So let's give you a different angle to show you the nib. You can see everything is nice and clean. Let's show you the feed. Once again, this very recognisable, maybe Todd feed. And hopefully, again, you can see to the, to the underside of the feed, we've got the word Blackbird. So, in lovely, lovely condition. As I say, I've uh, put a new sack in it. We've polished everything, cleaned everything. We're going to try and find a new home for it. So, um, well let's see how it writes now I've got no nails it's it's quite a difficult there we go so we dip the the nib into the ink pull on the lever we're just going to do it once because it's it's only for a writing sample but I don't know if you could actually hear that there was lots of bubbling going on which is precisely what we like to hear let's bring on some paper and let's see how the pen writes. As always, it's the first time since I restore the pen that I actually sort of test them live, if you like, on, on the video. So, what we have is a a blackbird made by maybe Todd and Company Limited. We're dating the pen from the 1940s. As I say, 
within the 1940s there was lots of manufacturers making pens although this is the middle tier within maybe Todd a stunning well-made beautiful beautiful pen so let's carry on writing it's actually writing very nicely and smooth I can also feel uh, as I'm writing that there's some flicks in the nib and I'm not actually applying a lot of pressure so if we do some figure of eights and then do it again you can see on the downward stroke we're getting a broad line on the cross stroke we're getting a fine line so as you'd expect from sort of maybe Todd nibs the blackbird pen it comes with a flexi nib and with some not a lot of pressure actually but with some pressure on the downward stroke you can see we're getting a lovely variation in line so it's a lovely writer as you can see and writing very nicely with a nice wet flexi variation line so let's put that to one side so let's put the cap back on and there you have it an absolutely stunning blackbird 5245 fountain pen lever fill with nickel plated trim in this green and sort of greys uh, marbling colour superb condition let's give you a little bit of a close up again in lovely condition beautiful pen and once again do not underestimate the pen although it's a sort of lower tier for maybe Todd a stunning pen that it, as good as any other pen of that particular period so let's try and find a new home for it i hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people do not forget do not be shy leave a comment below don't be shy and let me ask you something have you subscribed no why not subscribe now to this channel if you don't mind but for now i'm just going to say bye bye for now